I'll show you correla our correlation tools within Mindscape. Because of the sale of Mindscape to Datamine, we now have the ability to access functionality from, from other Datamine products. One such opportunity was to integrate Durahole correlation directly into Mindscape. This functionality has been embedded in the Strat model plugin. The drill holes must be loaded into a design file for correlation tools to work. Drill holes in a GDB database cannot be accessed within the new correlation tools. The correlation tools available on Mindscape 7 will give the user the ability to reassign intervals, easily adjust interval roofs and floors, and add new intervals within the drill hole. All these changes can be saved and written back to the selected drill holes or the user has the option to reset and not save. The user has total control of how the data will be displayed at any time and additional drill holes can be selected and added to the current display list. So if I select some drill holes, start up the correlation tools, and you can see that it, it started up in its own window. And I can actually do a vertical tab group in this. So I can see the drill holes that are selected. So I can make this window a little bit smaller. Okay, so these are the drill, these are the three drill holes selected. And as you can see, typically what will happen is the user will move these correlation tools into a window and onto an external monitor so you get full CAD and you get full correlation window. You can view the drill hole data on any datum that you wish. You can zoom in and zoom out to get so you can get in and look at the information within the drill holes. You can see I'm showing depth lithology, zone, the type, and the elevation. And down here at the bottom, it tells you distance apart these drill holes are. So if you hit the space bar, you can see that these are relative to, to the distance apart for each hole. And if you just toggle it back, it just collapses the drill holes. <clears throat> So I can actually, there's two modes, view and seam adjustment. So if I select the view, I can, I can hang it on any datum. Here I lined it up with this interval, low B. I can actually line it up on drill hole depth, pick um, mid A, pan this down. Let's hang it on mid A. So you have total control over that. You can also adjust the thicknesses of these intervals. So if I wanted to adjust tough M interval, I can do a seam adjustment and just take the left button and adjust these by holding it down, the thickness. And if, if you don't like it, you can always hit you can always hit reset. Okay, it just takes it back to where you were. You can also add other drill holes. If I want to just add another drill hole, now I've added that fourth drill hole to it. And I can still zoom in. You can also change, you can add an interval. This, this is reading from the schema. But if I do a seam adjustment, I can go ahead and add an interval. Let's add an interval JDS, add it. So I want to take JDS and I'm just going to, Replace BA with JDS. Just as simple as that. I can adjust the thickness for this if I wanted to. If you don't like it, you can always come back to reset. Okay. Now you could also, if I just close this window and I still have those four selected. Okay. I'll select these four holes again. And then if I just do the correlation, and you'll see that the window comes up in, in a bigger window, and you can just bounce back and forth between these windows if you if you had to. You can also, if you right mouse here, you can open the properties. If you notice here, I can I can move my columns around in this, I have them in this particular order. I can move them around however I want to move them around. 
if I want to change, say, the zone um, text, I can come down here, select zone text, and let's make that a little bigger. So you can see that it, it got bigger. You can also do a print preview. So you can print these also. So it's it's really, we've got some pretty good tools in here for version uh, 1.0 of correlation. And we'll just wait for some feedback from the users.